Hey everyone, welcome to today's Train Sim World 3 video where we're going to take a look at the recently released footage of the new user interface. But before we do that, just a reminder that if you do enjoy today's video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for lots more TSW3 coming up in the next few weeks. So on the Railfan TV Q&A session for TSW3, on uh, Tuesday we saw some footage for the first time of the new user interface or UI as it's sometimes called uh, including this video that you can see here which is taken from the Railfan TV Q&A stream and it showed us right from the beginning that the new the new splash screen gone is the the, the old Marvel style introduction to uh, TSW2 to re be replaced with something much more calm and, and relaxing and this this is the new UI and uh, in the background just whilst I'm playing this video hopefully you can also hear the ambient menu music for the UI which uh, Benjamin at DTG has created and has sent over for me to use in this video so thank you to Benjamin for that and uh, I want to say right off the bat that the uh, UI in TSW2, I never really got used to that. It was always just that little bit clunky to me, especially when we got the root introduction screen, the, the root choice screen, where we had the scrolling tiles left to right. I, I preferred the earlier version where we had a sort of grid fashion where we could, uh, we could pick the roots here in this one what we can see in this one is that um, it's much more accessible um, the the look and feel straight off the bat for me is very clear very well laid out the colors are quite nice actually and um, you can just see now on this video we are going through just choosing um, an actual an actual train um, and, and choosing a service and and here customizing the weather I've yet to see and understand how this works on console, but if you were playing on console before, you'll know that changing the weather in the old UI for TSW2 was, was actually quite difficult. Uh, this is using yellow and white colours to show where your cursor currently is. It's very difficult to see where the cursor was in the, in the TSW2 weather system, and most of the time, unless I was playing journey mode where the weather was picked out for me, I tended to play it in the def the default sunny weather. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that works on console. Looks quite easy with a mouse. Um, the next thing is um, the training module. So if you are in a particular route now um, and you want to pick a training module, um, it will give you the option to run the training module um, in the training center, which is which is a new feature of uh, Train Sim World 3 as you know and uh, I think if uh, a tutorial is more suited to running on a route so for example um, there are tutorials for um, LZB so it makes sense to run the LZB tutorial on one of the German routes and you can run that when you choose the LZB tutorial we'll give you the option of, of which route to, to choose and uh, you'll get to choose a German route for that rather than running it on the track that comes with the, the train center. So in this in this video right now you can see we are looking at uh, profiles so under profile you can see as we could in TSW2 the distance traveled for each of the locals that you currently own which is quite nice um, I like the idea you can see all the pictures of the locos in a grid like that as well. You can see um, for routes, you can see the statistics for each route that you're currently on, just in this particular example, they're just the standard TSW3 routes that are available. And you can also look at the collectibles and see where you are for collectibles. Um, these are the ones here for the Würzburg route, the Southeastern High Speed, you can see those at a glance which is good and if we look at dovetail live everything's been centralized now mastery creators club rail fan tv there is even a link for rail fan tv not quite sure how that's going to work yet 
Um, that might actually take you outside of TSW3, I presume, and take you to the YouTube channel. Um, this is creating a new uh, scenario in the Scenario Planner. This was just one example that was run during the stream. And um, you can see throughout the look and feel of the UI is much the same. Um, I much prefer this layout. Uh, you can see there some of the some of the text itself is is larger as well, which is which is very welcome. Yet it still packs quite a bit onto the screen, which is nice. Um, selecting a loco for one of your own scenarios also looks much easier. Uh, previously, it was just a list, wasn't it? You couldn't actually see um, which which loco you were choosing. And I know in even in my own case, when it gets to the German locos, I'm not very well up on the different German locos, so sometimes I wasn't quite sure which loco I was actually choosing. So to be able to see pictures of those actually is quite interesting, and it should it should help in that process. And the same when it comes to choosing the coaches or wagons for when you are creating your own scenario. So again, that's something that I personally will use. This is the uh, livery designer, and again in a grid format. You can see the different vehicles that are available. And there are many, many vehicles, aren't there, throughout the game just now. And uh, unless you're a, a complete expert, um, you're not going to know what all those are. Um, you may know them by the look rather than the name. So, again, another welcome feature which just adds to the, uh, the usability of that feature, I would say. You can also now copy one of your scenarios. If you've got a scenario that you quite enjoy and you want to make changes to it but retain the original, you can do that as well. And that's what's being demonstrated just now. So then the store page. Um, I, from the looks of it, the store page hasn't changed very much at all, if, if at all. Um, you can see the, the routes and locos that you own and don't own. Obviously, there's some issue there with the uh, uh, the uh, picture of uh, Sam Patch Grid not properly uh, generating within that small window, but that's a minor thing. I'm sure that'll be fixed. And then the settings page um, is is grey, black, and white, which again is fairly easy to see. And um, you can see now, rather than having to use on console L1 and R1 to scroll across the top menu to get to these they're all down the left hand side general accessibility controls etc and um, all the settings i imagine are as before just presented in this different more clearer format so everything so far to me is is quite welcome i'm looking forward to using this of course until we get our hands on it um you know we won't know for sure um this is uh, as i mentioned earlier these are the these are the train uh, training modules so there are various training modules there and over on the right hand side you can see that that's where it gives you the option to choose the route that you can run the tutorial on here we've got the SD40 see on the right hand side you can run it on the training center route There's the LZB introduction I was talking about a little bit earlier as well, and you can run that on Castle Versberg in this in this case. And there's also an AFB introduction because that was the other thing that um, some of the tutorials previously were quite general, weren't they? And if you don't watch a lot of the Rail Fan TV streams, then it, in some cases it was quite difficult, wasn't it, to keep up with how to operate a certain train. Um, and I have a book where I've written down various bits and pieces on operating different locomotives and different signalling systems and that's all things that I've picked up on the Railfan TV streams so now this kind of helps with that and it should be a little bit more concise so I hope you've enjoyed that please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe we've got lots more TSW3 coming up in the coming weeks right up to release and beyond so it'll be great to see you in some of the live streams. So please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next time, take care everyone. Bye for now.